Hello friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever time zone you are viewing from. Welcome to our channel, It Tech Society All Learners. So we have covered till phase F in our last video. So today uh, we will cover phase G. So as we told earlier, the most important phases of TOGAF are actually phase G and H. And if you see from the vision, prelim preliminary vision, B, C, D, E, F, all these phases, mostly we are we have captured the architecture vision. Then we wanted to, uh, we have developed business data application, all this architecture solution, what will be the planning and migration, all these things. But in these two phases, phase G and phase H, so first of us, in this video, we'll talk phase G where this entire final development will be done and the contract develop the architecture contract will be finally signed. So this is the most important phase. So let's deep dive. And the, another thing, uh, exam, the question setter, they also know that people are mostly belongs to or daily in day to day job. They are mostly uh, do in B, C, D or maximum in E and F development phases. But the, so the in questions, most of the questions you will get from phase G and H. All phases are important, but for these two phases, it's very important to understand. So now let's deep dive. So what is the purpose of phase G? The main purpose is that ensure conformance with the target architecture by implementation projects. What does it mean? By end of the this phase G, we need to, or enterprise architect need to ensure that it in phase G, it can establish the connection between the architecture and whatever has been implemented. It is actually the final target architecture, what, what was the main intention. So it need, so this word is ensure conformance with the target architecture. This is very important. And another is perform appropriate architecture go governance functions for the solution or and any implementation driven architecture change request. So if any governance is needed, so whatever the solution entire team will develop, then or if suppose you means in review will happen in this phase. You will do the review, means architecture, in enterprise architect will do the review. So you will guide the development of the solutioning deployment and all these things. Finally, here, what will happen? The architecture governance also you need to do. But don't confuse that this is an architecture governance phase. If you see, this is an implementation governance phase. So the main thing here, the entire development is actually finalized here. And the deployment are also the how the deployment will happen and the finalization of the entire cycle will happen, happen in phase G. So what will be the steps first of all here let's uh, you do not need to remember all these inputs and inputs to architecture of phase g but just have a look that before going to steps what are the things that will come from other steps of other phases of togaf suppose what are the non architecture inputs you will get so obviously request for architecture work which happened capability assessment which happened in all these things in preliminary phases architecture inputs you will get so this tailored architecture framework organization model statement of architecture work vision repository so all these things will come from other phases be prior to phase g so this is the input to phase g now the main thing what you will do actually in phase g here you will do the con and all these uh, uh, points which are highlighted in uh, bold this can come directly in the foundation exams but you need to understand this 
entire phase G and what you are doing for giving the answer in the practitioner exam or the abroad questions. So what the first step is confirm scope and priorities for deployment with development management. What does it mean? Means here in this step, you will review the migration planning outputs and produce recommendations on what you will do in the deployment. You need to identify the enterprise architecture priorities for the development team. You need to identify if any deployment issues are happening and you need to make the proper recommendation for that. So this is the confirm and the scope of priorities for the deployment. So before deployment, you need to do all these things, migration planning, priorities for your development team. If any issues comes, you need to identify what will be your recommendation. That is also a very important point. Here you are identifying another thing. Who will do the deployment? You need to identify the deployment resource and skills. Okay. One question you might get in the exam that we also, I believe we tried, we mentioned here also, in which phase the uh, agile methodology is followed. So in phase G, this is not a proper, proper agile, which you understand, but this is the only phase which talks about the methodologies or how the tools, what are the, what we use normally in agile. So this might be a question that which of the method, which of the, which is the phase that follows the agile methodology and the answer will be phase G. So now what will be the next step? Next step is guide development of solutions deployment. So what does it mean? This means that here we actually formulate the project recommendations. What will be your entire plans and steps for each implementation and deployment project that we used to do here? Now, what will be the next step that perform enterprise architecture compliance review? This is very important step. So EA enterprise architect actually review each building block here. So any post development reviews that also you need to do here you need to actually close the development part of your entire deployment. Before deployment, you need to close this development part. So this is the main purpose of phase G. So understand these three points, confirm scope and priorities, guide development of solution deployment and perform enterprise architecture compliance reviews. So this is very important. and. and Another step is implement business and IT operations. Means uh, if any training required or any operations type of work is needed, that also you need to guide the team. Last but not, and the most important, perform post-implementation review and close the implementation. So you need to contract, conduct the post-implementation review. You means the enterprise architect, and you need to publish the reviews and entire closing of the project will be done here. So phase G that I was telling initially that it establishes the connection between the architecture and the implementation organization through the architecture contract. Okay, so final architecture contract is signed here. So that is, these are the main primary steps of phase G. So what is the, what are the outputs from phase G, this that I was telling that architecture contract, the signed contract. Okay, so don't get confused the, between the draft contract or the and the signed contract. Contract is getting signed only in phase G, not in phase A or preliminary. Okay, those that is the draft contract, as and architecture contract or signed architecture contract. So this is main output of phase G as recommended in the architecture compliant implemented architecture. You will, uh, and uh, another output is whatever the assessment, the compliance, assess, compliance assessments that you have done, that will be your output. Any change request that you will get that we need to uh, cover, that will be the input for phase H. Okay, so change request is a, a output for phase G and the architecture compliant solutions deployed, which includes these things. These are the, this, you do not need to 
remember all these things for the exam but just for the sake of understanding the architecture compliant implemented system populated architecture repository sls recommended service delivery requirements architecture definition document any update if any update has been happen, update has been done so those things uh, post implementation if you need to do any update that if in that you need to update your architecture add architecture definition document architecture building blocks so but uh, this you do not need to remember just the what you need to remember architecture contract signed architecture contract has been the main, is the main output and the compliance assessments and another thing is change request also that you will formulate in change request in phase g but you will do the things or implement the things from phase h okay now what are the main keywords that you need to remember for exam the keywords is you need to guide the development of solution deployment this is another one keyword another is the enterprise architecture compliance reviews these two things are the main thing for phase g ensure conformance this word is very important conformance with the target architecture by implementation projects perform appropriate architecture governance functions or the solution and any implementation driven architecture change request okay so i hope with this phase g is clear now so this is the summary from togaf uh, you will get it in for each phase we showed this block so direct question can come in the foundation exam where they will just show this block and the instead of mean in this uh, phase that you need to identify which phase here you will see a question mark so what is the keyword that we told here this adjust to reach the adjusted target state this is the output you can remember in multiple ways but how means if, whenever you see that here you are completion of the projects and the reach the adjusted target state that means this is talking about phase g on so but you can remember in your way also okay so now as we told that in for each phases we will show some sample questions which may direct come in your foundation exam so the first question is which one of the following best describes an architecture compliance review options are a review of an architecture project against established criteria and business objectives b a review of the readiness and ability of an organization to accept change c a review of the organization's ability to share information and services d a review of the baseline and target architecture to identify gaps e a review of the plans for enterprise transformation so i believe you already got the answer so the answer is answer a a review of an architecture project against established criteria and business objectives question 2 which of the following describes the purpose of an architecture compliance review a identifying relationships between management frameworks b identifying stakeholders and their concerns c identifying the business transformation risk for an architecture project d identifying criteria for procurement activities e identifying work packages for inclusion in the architecture road map so the answer is identifying criteria for procurement activities yes i uh, didn't cover architecture compliance review or i showed that thing in on a high level but uh, there are means there are few steps in architecture compliance review and the main step is this identifying or the purpose of architecture compliance review that identifying criteria for procurement activities so this you need to remember so third question complete the sentence according to togaf all of the following are responsibilities of an architecture board except so architecture board is actually you will get to know more in phase h but 
this is also important to know and it's related with phase g but uh, you will get to know more of architecture board about architecture board in phase h so but uh, to just uh, give you the uh, means just the uh, uh, just high level what architecture board does it's actually uh, provide basis for all decision making with regard to the architectures its consistency between the sub architectures kind of things or whatever the uni in the architecture board actually ensures that uh, what will be your reusable components it establishes those targets so it advise guidance or information so those things are actual responsibilities of the board so here the question is they are asking that which is, which is not an uh, not a responsibility for architecture board and the options they are giving uh, a allocating resources for architecture projects b decision making for changes in the architecture c enforcing architecture compliance d improving the maturity of the or organization's architecture discipline e production of governance materials so the first option the resources for architecture projects is not a board architecture board responsibility all others are actually responsibilities of architecture board question 4 which of the following best describes how architecture governance typically operates option a at the top level of the organization b in isolation c in phase g of the adm d within a hierarchy of governance structure obviously it's obvious it always happens in a hierarchy of governance structure so that will be the correct answer question 5 in which phase of the adm does the togap standard align with the agile development that i was mentioning earlier this question uh, used to come but uh, and it's very difficult because there is it's not proper agile but as togap also suggested it's in phase g but it's not true agile which we used to work in daily life so the last question uh, which of the following statements related to governance in enterprise architecture is the most correct okay option a the architecture practitioner and implementer are directed and both are controlled by the stakeholder okay b the architecture practitioner governs the architecture development and controls the implementer c the ceo governs the architect and directs the architecture practitioner and implementer d the stakeholder directs the architecture developments and controls the architecture changes as we told earlier the enterprise architects are the agent of stakeholders so it's this entirely practitioner or implementer they are directed by ea but all are controlled by stakeholders so this you need to remember okay so this was for phase g in our next video we'll come up with phase h thank you don't forget to subscribe our channel and please suggest what are the what are your feedbacks or if we can improve anything which will help you thank you see you in next video